the mouth. Take out the corresponding yarn. Wrap the yarn around your little finger. And then bring it up to an index finger. Pinks to yarn tail with thumb and middle finger. Working into a magic ring, make a loop around your middle finger and pinks to cross over of the yarn with thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger. Yarn over the hook and put up a loop. A magic ring is formed on the middle finger. In round one, start with one chain stitch and then with four single shades. Finally, end with one slip stitch. With one chain stitch first, the chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then with four single shades. Such a V shape is formed on the side. Place a marker in the first stitch through the underneath of both loops of the V-shape. Continue to work three more single crochets in the same way. Four single crochets are done. Put the yarn tail tights close to ring. Remove the marker. Insert hook into the mark stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull up a loop to the stitch. Then pull the first loop on hook through the other loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. The slip stitch is a connection. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Round one is done. In round two, start with one chain stitch and then work a sec up one single crochet, one increase twice. Finally, M1 slip stitch. Put one chain stitch first. Put one single crochet in the first stitch. Mark the first single crochet. In the next stitch, put one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. One single crochet and one increase are finished. One set is done. The second set, put one single crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch, put one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Two sets are done. Remove the marker. And we'll one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round two is done. Turn the fabric. In round three, there will be one chain stitch, and then we'll go set up one single crochet, one increase for three times. Finally, and we'll one slip stitch. Put one chain stitch first. Put one single crochet in the first stitch.
in the next stitch with one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The second set, with one single crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch, we one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The third set, we one single crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch, we one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Three sets are done. Remove the marker and put one set stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round three is done. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail for sewing. I pull the yarn tail out. Cut off the shoe yarn tail. Make some adjustments. The mouth is done. The tail. The stitches are the same for the tail and the mouth, except that they are in different colors. Please make the tail in the same way by yourself. The tail is completed.